Hi, my name is Eva, and this is how my semester went in digital video editing. Honestly, going into digital video editing, I was already pretty confident about my currently established abilities and was excited to create new content. But little did I know how much this course would push my limits and improve my current skills. Honestly, this class has been a roller coaster for me. I faced many challenges, including a concussion, a full body rash, technical issues, and time constraints. One of my favorite projects this semester was the My Story Project. I was able to share my personal journey about how I fell in love with video editing and recall some of the key milestones that brought me to where I am today. I think that I did well on telling my story concisely, having a strong script, and using a good variety of B-roll to complement my A-roll. If I were to change anything about my My Story project, I would zoom in on my A-roll shots to remove the excess headroom. I would also change the music because little did I know, it was copyrighted. Another video that I thought I did well on was the last summer music video. Even though the song felt like it was stuck in my head for weeks, I think I did well on my transitions, I had clean edits, and I did a good job of choosing aesthetically pleasing shots to complement the audio. The two videos that I struggled with the most on were my mini documentary and PSA. Both videos pushed my creative abilities and were out of my comfort zone. Before this course, I had never created a mini documentary or a PSA. Going into my depression PSA, I was very nervous. I never created such a serious video before. I really wanted to make sure that I portrayed depression correctly. I wasted so much time overthinking because I was scared that I was going to mess up. Also, I had a lot of issues with not being able to accomplish my goals for this project. I really wanted to do a variety of shots, such as different panning, tilts, the vertigo effect, bathtub shots, but it just honestly didn't work out. There are two things I would change in this video. One, I would make the resources page longer so that way viewers who are watching it have time to write down the information on the screen. Secondly, I would use more of a variety of creative shots. A lot of my shots were still shots and were a lot of just my sister's face. If I were to change this, I would add more movement and show more of her doing actions. Personally, I think that I did a good job conveying depression in such a short time frame. I had good clean shots that complemented the narration. I also think that my music was good because it was not overpowering and complemented the narration. Out of all the videos we did this semester, the mini documentary was the hardest for me. Honestly, if I could go back, I would choose a different topic altogether. I think I pushed my limits and personal sanity a little far on this one. Integration was a very difficult topic to cover. I struggled with trying to create a story out of something that just hasn't happened yet. I also struggled with trying to cut down all my information into the five minute time limit, but somehow I kind of did it. If I could go back, I would spend more time actually doing instead of geeking out. There were points where I was just so overwhelmed that I honestly was unable to get anything done. In order to fix my documentary, I'm going to fix a few things. First, I'm going to add lower thirds titles with each interviewee's name. Secondly, I'm going to completely redo or replace some of my B-roll shots and make some of them longer. Lastly, I need to add an explanation of integration in the beginning of the video. I do think that I chose good music for this video. I am also very happy with how my camera quality turned out and the variety of shots that I used. For future students that take this course, my advice is do not procrastinate. Start your work early in case you run into any bumps in the road. Secondly, do not be afraid to ask for help or advice on your work. And lastly, do not be afraid to push your limits and creative ability. You will never know what you can achieve until you try.